Hello. Hello. How are you? It's a star on you. <laughs> yeah, I'm star. I'm a writer, and I am a ya boy Kong Ming big fan, big super fan. I'd be one of the groupies outside the stage door, uh, being like, "Please sign my shirt." That kind of person. So I am so excited to get to talk about ya boy Kong Ming, who I think is more our boy as we start to. He's our boy Kong Ming as we start to, you know, get to know him better as the episodes come out. So very excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, oh, I wore I wore my Akira jacket. Nice, dude. Uh, <laughs> That's so sick. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's got the like the pill on the back and everything. Yeah. It looks really oh, cool. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. But when I heard we were talking, I was like, I have to put an outfit together. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I the totally choice. totally appreciate that. I kind of well, yeah, I kind of had a character in mind, but I didn't come to her in time. Like the the girl from Ya Boy. Oh yeah, Aiko. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's so cute. I mean, oh my god. I mean, she's so too. Like she's um, like one of the best female characters that I've seen in like recent years. So. She has such a unique design with the streetwear and everything. Yeah,、too. yeah. You know, like exactly. It, it's not. It's like my cup of yeah, tea. Yeah, it's not typical. Yeah, me too. It, it's not typical for your anime heroine who usually is really. Cute, see, and like she's cute, but it's in like such a unique, fun, modern yeah, kind of way. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, yeah. She, and I also yeah. like how she's like underdog too. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, like she. Yeah, she's very cool. She's like not really popular in the beginning. <laughs> she's got like two hundred Instagram, three hundred Instagram followers, and it's, she's looking at her phone like. I love each and every one of you, <laughs> all two hundred of you. You know. No, I totally feel it. She knows them all by name. Yeah,、She、I know. I recognize you. <laughs> With this show, I did not quite know what I was expecting. I、oh. I tend to be one of the first people in our office who like sees a title and kind of gets to know a title when it comes in.、Um, and when this one came out, I read the premise. I said, "What in the world is this?" You know, <laughs> I got. A guy from ancient China goes to Shibuya and meets a girl and wants to make her a star using military tactics. What is this? And it's, this. it's all sort of like, yeah, it was everything in the kitchen sink. And there's this concept of seventeen elements from different types of stories. I was like, how is this gonna work? And then I watched one episode and like five minutes in, I went, I'm sold.、And、they brilliantly executed, right? For some reason, yes, it's really crazy. It's so good. Like I'm not saying that because like you know I work with this title like it it legitimately appeals to yeah, me on this strange fundamental level. I totally you know? know because that's how I've been feeling about it since day one. I was like somebody told me about this series and I was like hold on what is this like let me check this thing out again and then I was like hold on <laughs> it's gonna be an anime are you sure about this and I'm like. Oh wow, it's actually good. <laughs> with with that premise, are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure though? Yeah. yeah. I I've been telling all my friends about it too. Like, you need to watch the show, and they always look at me like, "What are you talking about? What is the show you're describing? What what is what is this?" I, I I'm on TikTok. Um, I I made a video about it, and all、oh, these、did. people were replying and saying, "Wait, explain that to me. What, <laughs> what was that summary?" And I'm like, just go with it. Just go with it. I promise it's good. But、uh, people really do seem to like、yeah. it. It's climbing higher and higher on people's watch lists. And... Just like the bizarreness、yeah. of it, like you know, and then also that the the kind of the underdogness, like it, it starts from the bottom、mm-hmm. and then like you know they build、yes. it up. So it's kind of like you want to be on it early, you know, <laughs> to be on this. Like, yeah, it has that feel, and I really like that actually. Yeah, it's like when you're when you're the first person to discover a band in your friend group. Yes. Before they go on their yes, first tour、like、and、that. you love them, and then they make it big.、So、I was there. What do you call it? I was there. Early adopter. <laughs> yeah, an early adopter. I was there before your boy was our boy. You know. <laughs> He's always been my man all the time. Like that. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always. I'm kind of kind of sucker for like. Comedy and like you know, like some people say, like comedy doesn't like translate well. But like in this case, I think、yeah. it does because it's like the modern days part is so like、um, like relatable. Like in any、yeah. any place you've been, like it's like just like like street culture, or, 
like when you go to a party, like that happens anywhere pretty much. Right. I think also the writing of it is incredibly clever with how they handle the historical elements, mm -hmm. not just like in the way that the jokes are. Yeah, about, I think so. In, um, well, but the way that they handle Aiko and then Kobayashi, the manager here, Mm -hmm. By like, Kobayashi is a Three Kingdoms nerd, right? Yeah. So when he's around Kong Ming, he's like, tell me your secrets, tell me about your this, or tell me about that, let's learn about this trivia. So the people watching it who like the history stuff are like, like, yeah, uh -huh. that's me. You know, that's so legit. Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> yeah, but then people like me who don't know shit, <laughs> who don't know we any, can you. people who, yeah, would bleep me, yeah, thank you. People like me who don't know anything about history, we're like Aiko. She's standing there going, I don't get this. I don't know what y'all are talking about. And so you've got like two audience surrogates, one for the people who know history yeah. and one of the people who don't. And it makes the jokes always accessible. And that's such a smart writing trick. Like I have to think totally. the author was like, like I have to do that. Like I, that has to be either, either, either the author had perfect instincts when crafting this yeah, character. Yeah, I think so. Or he was. You have to like really was, you know, know your thing, and then you have to kind of like know where the beginners yeah. come from to kind of like make it yeah. eye to eye level. Yeah, it's totally yeah, like the author was super smart in like characters. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. And like I, I kind of talked to like. Three Kingdoms fans about this series too. Like I was like, can you read this and like tell me how it feels? And they're like, oh my god, yeah. this is like totally legit. Like I never thought about this kind of theory, but it totally makes sense. Like whoever wrote this must their know like must know their materials. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, like yeah, I, I was reading on Reddit. There's uh, one person in all of like the episode recaps on the anime subreddit is posting everything they know about like Three Kingdoms facts that show up in the episodes to contextualize the jokes, and that's been really fun to like read this person's. Um, I wish I remembered their handle, but I, it's been really nice to read that. You know, I have I have this like uh, clip from you guys uh, mm -hmm. from High Dive on the Aboy Coming. Like, do you want to watch it together? Yeah, we can do I, that. I've never tried this before, so let's do that. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, okay. Genzai yori yaku 1800 nen mai, chuka wa mitsu ni wakare haken wo arasotte ita. Ryubi hiki iru shok. I think mean, this is like a really good like intro to the Three Kingdoms. Yeah, like, they did. Shit. For sure, they did a good intro in terms of just like getting newbies introduced yeah. to what it is and why it's it like in a nutshell. This is yeah. the Three Kingdoms. These are the spark notes. <laughs> yes, it's a spark notes of the Three Kingdoms. Um, this, I mean, it's kind of like, um, like a good way to kind of set your mindset into like where the story jumps into. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. And this is like a classic beginning to like an isekai series. Like yes. When somebody's in the death end, you know? <laughs> Except yeah, it's from the past. <laughs> yeah, I had somebody try to tell me, this isn't an isekai series, it's a time travel series. But I'm like, I mean, it is, but he shows up and he has, um, he speaks Japanese and he is younger. So there's a magical element to it. It's not just like straight up time travel. Yes, I mean, exactly. Yeah. And he understands how to use um, like smartphone immediately. <laughs> he does magic he's, to it. Yeah, he's very, he's very smart. And so he just takes to it like a fish to water. Party people, man. This title kills me. Like, that's party people, like party people. Party hey. people going, ya boy! <laughs> ya <Yeah>, boy! Who <laughs> <laughs> came up with that title? And he just wakes up in hell. Like, or like, he's just like zombie. Yeah. Now. I love the animation of his eyes right here, by the way. It's, it's really, so it's clean. Wow. Smooth. Yeah. yeah. It's actually like, kind of like, um, like, Graphically speaking, it's like really elaborate, you know, like the costumes. Yeah, PA Works is the studio yeah. and they did a bang up job on yeah. the animation of this, especially during the uh, the musical sequences later in the, uh, I know, right? the series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I really like the, the music in this series a lot, actually. <laughs> this is like him waking up and like shooting. This is why I grew up in Japan. <laughs> this, <laughs> so like, this line here, though. It must be hell. <laughs> 
I'll be all the <laughs> Yes, it is some sort of a hell. And he's like, every, he gets recognized. Oh, it's him. Like, what? <laughs> oh, you're so good. <laughs> it's actually really brilliant that the author chose to land in a Halloween because everyone just sees the costume and rolls with it. it yeah, I don't, so, <laughs> totally okay with it too, right? <laughs> and he gets like fed tequila. Like, <laughs> Bottoms up! <laughs> Bottoms are burning in hell fire. Just no punishment. They're just kicking it. <laughs> oh, so you go to another realm of hell. Like, at this part, yeah, this is like, kills me. It's like subtle comedy, I like it. It's yeah. Funny. We We wanted to show these first four minutes of the first episode because we think it's such a great concise introduction to the series oh, like like it really yes. sums up the tone and the mood so quickly for the audiences so it's a really strong like opening hook yeah i think so and then and then it jumps into this music scene yeah, this, music this club scene. seems like they start to get into like it's, it's creeping into me like to music and stuff it's just like this is what i wanted to see when it becomes an anime it's like hi 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 like yes Yes, like, here she goes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like this movie. It is such a good job with the music in this series. I swear. And the dancing, yeah. Yeah, like, um, they, they must have, like, really good team to work on these, like, you know, like, um, he's feeling it too. <laughs> yes, I'm kind of like sucker for music, so this, this is how I feel when I listen to like the, the jams. Yeah. No, I, I get you. I love that clip. Like, it's such a quick way, really, to acclimate the audience to what they're getting into when they see yeah. this. Like we said earlier, it has such a bonkers premise. Like, <laughs> You know, it does. Like, but it shows you how quickly the characters come together, how quickly everything just sort of gels. And then the rest of the episode is just as punchy and impactful. Like there's, you know, in writing, there's that economy of writing when you don't waste scenes, you don't waste time. And this first episode truly grabs audiences, yanks them in. It immediately makes you root for the characters. The characters are super lovable. You get their a vibe for their dynamic immediately. Um, right away. <laughs> it, it just really strongly, like from storyboarding to writing to acting, everything about that first episode is incredibly strong. And the yeah. series only gets better from there. Like it, yeah. it's so, it's special. Like this series is so special and I'm like, I, I'm so taken with it. I, I, <laughs> I truly love this series so much. Yeah, I like, really like this, the relationship between these two characters right here. It's, oh, it's kind of, sure. it's like, Kind of like co-workers, but like they're, they're like just homies, you know, like they kind of look out for each other It's right. like you see that in like so many aspects and like yeah, I got your back. I'll make you famous as a star yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's got that sweetness to it. Like I I know it, like, part of his background, you know, is he's this um, tactician for the great lord that he, that he served and so he's used to kind of finding a commander and then answering to them. And that's what he does when he comes to the future is, you know, he, he finds Iko and then he's like, you know, you're my commander now, give me my orders and, you know, I'm going to carry them out. But She's like, seriously? <laughs> yeah. But like, it also shows that he believes in her so much. He, he believes in the power of her voice. He believes in her dreams. And so yeah. what you get is the series that is so earnestly about a guy who sees somebody and says, I don't need compensation. I don't need gratitude. I don't need anything from you. From just, I want to elevate you and I want to make your dreams come true. And that is so earnest and kind and optimistic and positive. And so it's such a true, nice, true. positive show. And like at the end of episode three, which literally came out today, mm. uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but like, you know, Iko has rivals. And rather than be unkind or manipulative or talking down to her rivals, he shows them kindness and humility and appreciation. Wow. And so he's got this sportsmanship that I think is also sort of unusual for a lot of like competition based, like idol based, you know. Right, because it's not, always about the competition. Yeah, he's not about tearing her competition down. He's about building her up. And, you know, we have so many anime series that are 
edgy and gritty and they kind of trade on that darkness. It's messed up. <laughs> yeah, but this is bright and colorful and happy and the characters love and appreciate each other. And that's something that I think anime fans like should want to watch. You know, if you watch a lot of dark stuff, throw this in there too because yeah, it's gonna true. be good for your mental health, frankly. It's so, so good. It's, yeah. Feel happy. I think that this this show, for me, one of the reasons that I like it that much is because of that positivity that is sort of inherent to its characters. And I think that makes it very, very, very special. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, I can't I can't wait to like talk to more fans of like a boy coming and geek out on it, to be honest. Like, like I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, not gonna shut up about it for any time soon. Oh, same here. We're gonna talk about this. I'm, I'm constantly in the middle of the office, like refreshing its mal page. Like it went up a point, nine more people reviewed it. And they're like, oh my God, star, we get it. We get it, people like it. You can stop now. And I'm like, no, it's ready <laughs> no, <again."> again. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm over in the corner, just like beating the ya boy drum. Just like, yes, everyone, everyone gather around, gather around. And they're just like, we're so tired of you. They're, they're not tired of me. They like hearing about it, but like. I mean, that's what you do. <laughs> yep, I'm very passionate about ya boy. He's our yeah. boy, like I said. <laughs> well, anytime oh, you come across like new, you know, new shows like that, is that is just like not like any other ones. Like, I feel really happy, you know? Mm -hmm. This is definitely like one of those series for me. Like, that's yeah. like oh, it's it's not just any other ones. Like, it's been a while since I feel this way about like a series. I'm quite happy. Too. Same here. Yeah, I saw somebody online say, "What are some show? Uh, what are some other shows that are like your boy?" And I was like, what? <laughs> "It's not a long list. It's not a long list, bro. Sorry to break it to you, but there there's not going to be too much that's in the same ballpark." <laughs> yeah, oh. I don't think so. Um, maybe like some like small aspects of it, like yeah. time traveling, you know, like this and that, like um, die from the past coming to the present, but and like not can. not like this. I don't think. Yeah, because I can think yeah. of like music shows or idol shows that have kind of like a twist, and I can think of time travel series, but the whole time travel music combination is very like. What? And then the, that war aspect too on top of it is entertaining. Oh, I think Jay's coming in. Hey, what's up, Jay? Hey, everyone. I'm going to join this part way through because I was just stuck in another meeting, but I had to come and talk about your boy. I'm Jay Perez. I'm the event manager with High Dive, and I do stuff. I make events happen, and I talk about anime that I like, including your boy. And I want to say your boy a lot, and we're going to say your boy a lot. Get used to it. Star does such a job of talking about Kong Ming. I needed to let the energy get out first. Were you like, uh, he's dropping so. on us on the other line and came in this way? Did you? No, I'm in the other side of the office and I just hear it. Oh, okay. Like actual little of her voice. Yeah, I uh, I love I love this show so much, y'all. So I can talk, I mean, we have been sitting here talking about it for half an hour. Yeah, Texas, yeah I know, totally. Y'all. Um, <laughs> yeah, but we have been sitting here talking about it for the last half hour without really ceasing. So, you know, Straight your nerding. instincts were right, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Straight nerding. I really appreciate the hookup too, Jay. Like, this is this is like becoming like my favorite series of the season. So I'm definitely gonna hype it up amongst everybody, basically. <laughs> Um, and I think you also you are never wrong. You're never wrong. I'm never wrong about this kind of stuff, really. Like, um, and I, I think you're like trying to hook us up with um, high dive su subscription if, in case people want to watch it. Like, can you tell me how it kind of works? So yeah, um, I kind of know some people at high dive, and I talked to kind them, of. and I was able. <laughs> make a little code that if you use your boy 22, right? Your boy Start. 22. Yeah, the code is your boy yeah. 22 for one month free of high dive. Okay. You redeem it at the sign up page. Yeah. But nice. we had that we had to say your boy. Like anytime we refer to this, we go, your boy. Yeah, boy. And it's, it's funny, anytime anyone refers to it too, you don't just say, we need to talk about your boy. Ya so boy. we go, we need to talk Anytime. about your boy. And it, it's always pronounced that way, even in the middle of a very serious <laughs> sentence. It's, it's quite funny. It's a business oh. thing. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. Okay. It's inter integral to the discussion of the title is calling it your boy. Your boy, your boy. Yeah. 
Um, and you know, if you start right now, you can catch up on three or four episodes. The third episode right? dropped this morning. Yeah. Okay, so some binge watching is all out. Yes. And then, yes. and then you have to wait like rest of us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, most anime fans give anime a three episode rule for something to charm them, and so there's three episodes of it oh. out now, so you can pull the three episode rule. And um, Saki and I were talking about this earlier about how you want to be an early adopter. You know, like this show is is blowing up, and it is pretty cool to get in when it's new and before other people discover it. It's pretty yeah, cool you better be on it. There. You better be on it right away. <laughs> okay, so um, head up the High Dive web homepage and then use the promo code to subscribe uh, free for one month. Mm -hmm. Is that the deal? The, the, yep. the hookup? That's yeah, the hookup. The show is hookup. Yep. <laughs> use the code YAHBOY22 at, oh, uh, yeah, at High Dive for one month free of YAHBOY. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. right. But you can watch like other stuff too on there too, oh, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, a couple little shows like um Land of the Lust Shooters, nice. uh Devil's Line. Yeah. You know? Represent. Thank you for the shout out to the Cold Asha titles. Yeah. No, I mean I, I honestly like have been looking for more contents to watch these days. I was like, oh my god, I need something new to watch. And then like I found High Dive. So like, uh, yeah, here goes my weekend. <laughs> I would very much appreciate it, um, all your hard work. Well, if you're gonna, if, if you want a magical girl show that's underappreciated, that's on high dive, oh. you should check out Flip Flappers. Flip flappers. Yeah, this is, what is this? It's a it's a magical girl show about these two like girls who go into these strange magical realms and have to collect these weird shards of energy and stuff. And uh, the show is a actually really big on like psychology. And nice. It looks I'm down. All, yeah, it looks like super bubblegum pink. And then you start digging into it and you realize that it's actually got these sort of like deeper underpinnings and it's more than it seems. But it came it's out. Like, oh, wait a minute. It's deep. Yeah. Okay. But it came out the same season as like Madoka Magica and like six other magical girl shows all dropped at the same time. And so it kind yeah. of flew under the radar, but it's my favorite magical girl series of all time. And when people are looking oh, for wow. stuff to watch on High Dive, I always recommend that one because it's very, very cool. cool. Yeah, I'll totally check this one out. Very good. Yes. I thought you were going to go with Demon Girl Next Door 2. Uh, Demon Girl Next Door Season 2 is airing right now, and it is the sequel <laughs> to the Demon Girl Next Door Season 1, which is another of my favorites, which is another subversive magical girl show. <laughs> which is um, another. <laughs> yeah, I love I love me some uh, subversive magical girls, uh, but that one is also very good, and it's got some parody elements of the magical girl genre, which is, it just laugh out loud funny. So you're looking I like, like that. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. I, I, I'll do a, my elevator pitch for Magical okay. Girl. What if, what if you're not following the Magical Girl, you're following Demon Girl? <laughs> and what if the Magical Girl is more deadpan than I am? Oh, no. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the Magical Girl of Demon Girl Next Door, she literally is just like, yes, I will fight the evil monster. It's fine. And just the whole time. Dead face. And then the, the demon girl's over here like, ah! And yeah, so they, they have like really? the swapped personalities. It's very good. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's all bubbly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good times. Um, I do like magical shows. And you know, you know, how to fight magical girls on a budget. On the budget. <laughs> yes, yes. Wait, um, like the girls themselves are on the budget or the production is? <laughs> Oh, well, you see, um, the magical girl, our lead character, her name is Shamiko, um, the short yeah. shadow mistress Yuko. Yeah, uh, Shamiko wakes up one day and she has devil horns and a tail and she does not know where she got them. And it turns out one of her ancestors is a demon who has granted her some oh. magical, magical girl kind of demon powers. But she says a long time ago, the light clan placed a curse on our family that we have to live for the rest of our lives on $300 a month. And that is it. That is for oh, food. No. That is for food, housing, clothing, and everything. And that is all you get. So you have to go Never break. More. You have to go break the curse by killing, or murderizing, as she says, the light, the light magical girl who's from the clan that like cursed us. And so she goes to try to like murderize her. And then the light girl is like, "You're very pathetic. I'm going to become your personal trainer because this is just sad." And that's their relationship. It's very funny. <laughs>
<laughs> what a crazy setup. Yeah, we were talking about shows with crazy setups earlier. Ya boy, yeah. demon girl, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, part to part, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. All kinds of weird <laughs> stuff to watch on High Dive. We're big fans. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. And the best part of girl, you can watch the first season full right now in dub. Yeah, the <laughs> first season is dub dance. On High Dive. Oh, High Dive. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely um, gonna go up on my um, queue of things to watch this weekend. <laughs> As it should. As it should. Um, Y'all have any like final shout outs, call outs, whatever you wanna say um, to our um, people who are watching our show? Um, so, Jay, did you wanna give, uh, I gave my like a, a oodle of personal thoughts on the series. Oodle. Did you wanna say real quick why you like it though? Cause I'm sure we have yeah. different answers. Yeah, I wanna hear it. So, your boy is the kind of show that if you're having a bad day and you just need <laughs> to laugh and watch something lighthearted and bring yourself in a better mind, it will do that without trying hard. <laughs> it is a different premise. It is fresh. It's it fresh. is unlike anything we have for a while. Hell no, there's nothing like and it. It's fun. Oh, super fun. Like it's, it's, Hell yeah. yeah. And I'd, yeah. it gives us excuse to say, oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think the show, if I had to sum it up in one word, is that the show is joyful. Like joyful. It it joyfully approaches its premise. Like it's such a weird premise, but it just leans into it. It knows what it is. It just leans into it hard, which is beautiful. And then it, it's joyful about its characters. It's joyful about the music. It's joyful about their relationships. Like literally watching every single second of this, I'm sitting there like, just like smiling like that the whole time, <laughs> just unable to stop. Did you share the story of when you fell oh, off the Oh yeah, um, there's a moment in, I believe it's episode three. What? Wait, no, it's episode four. So I'm not gonna describe the actual moment because I don't want, I don't want to spoil anybody, but there's a moment where they have this uh, conversation and it's really, really tense the whole time. Like, you know, it's, it's tension, tension, stress, stress, stress. And she looks to your boy for comfort and there's this music swelling and it's very you know it's very um emotional and stuff and he just turns to her and just deadpan says something that is totally not what she wants to hear and it starts playing this like funerary organ music in the background and she just starts going like no and i fell out of my chair i was laughing so hard because they do these things with like sound that is so funny um there's a moment in episode two where somebody opens the door and he's standing there and like a gong hits in the background but then it cuts Bond. back to the yeah but it cuts back to the person who opens the door and it cuts it out mid gong and she goes who are you and like <laughs> it's one of those moments where like the sound designer does a really good job like with all of those beats um so anyway yeah the, the humor gets to me in a way that i i literally will shriek in the middle of our office and it's very upsetting to everyone around but i'm having a good time so i think that's what matters <laughs> that's okay that's totally fine Totally, totally so, fine. Yeah, well, you, you gave me like uh, different layers I, to enjoy the show. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot there. There's a lot to unpack. It's... Yeah. What a, you can go into the show without wanting to think about it and have a great time. You can go in the show and analyze everything. <laughs> yeah. you, know, it's, you pick your own adventure. That's true, huh? Yeah, like... That's totally true. Yeah, the first episode had these really heavy dramatic beats that were actually like emotionally resonant and poignant. And in the middle of a comedy series about a dude from the Three Kingdoms coming to Shibuya to become an EDM singer's manager, you were manager. Through, I wasn't expecting of all the series in the world to make this one make me feel something. But it yeah. did. Like, okay, okay, <laughs> your boy. Yeah, I see. So you. it totally creeps under your skin, yeah. so to speak. Absolutely. It totally does. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, boy, Kong Ming is our homeboy for the season. Um, yep. Thank you very much to uh, both you, Star and Jay, for showing up to our show. And I'll talk to you all soon. Yeah, thank you so much for having <laughs> us. And yeah, it was wonderful to meet you. Thanks for talking about ya boy. Ya boy. Ya boy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jay. Do it. Do it too. Do it. Peer pressure.
pressure. Yeah, boy. I'm... Yeah, boy. No. He's being shy all of a sudden. Throw, throw it up, Jake. <laughs> throw up the hands. Say, yeah, yeah boy. boy. He's like, hey. yay. Oh, boy, your yeah, boy. Round of applause. Yay. <laughs>